Hey guys, server and back here. Hey guys, server and back here. Hey guys, server and back here, and today I'm reviewing Moonlighter for the PS4. This is a strange kind of combination of an action RPG, um, like Animal Crossing. You run a shop. I don't even know how they uh, describe this game, honestly, or how they classify it, but dungeon crawler, randomize, I don't know. Almost like uh, a roguelike, because if you uh, like die with the items, you'll lose some of them, but... Anyway, um, I'm going to go over the same five categories I always do. Graphics, performance, gameplay slash story, replayability, and then fun factor. Give each category a score from 1 to 10, average it up, and then talk about the game a little bit. So I'm going to start with graphics. So they're pretty good. Um, I really like the main character and uh, his armor looks pretty cool. The effects when you swing your sword. It's like a pixelized stylized uh, kind of game i don't love some of the enemies there's not a ton of different variety there's only two what, four dungeons with some different environments but each dungeon's got its own look overall though it's pretty good um so i'm gonna give graphics a 7.5 uh, i've seen kind of more uh inspired pixel graphics you know but these look pretty good you know, and the randomized dungeons, so stuff may be placed in weird places, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, um, next category is uh, performance. Didn't have any problems. This game runs perfect. No crashes, no issues. 10 out of 10, perfect. Make more games like this, please. Um, next category is gameplay slash story. So I'm going to have a lot to say or the most to say about this category we'll start with gameplay i really enjoy the gameplay um i've never played a game like this and it's really neat and addicting because you go in in these dungeons each dungeon has three different levels you're fighting enemies they're dropping items um it's randomized where you know where to go you can get items that kind of lead the way but i never even bought one um and this is really on you upgrade weapons you find items that are required to up upgrade those weapons you uh sell things in a shop which is really cool like you're left a shop and then you don't know what these dungeons are for but you find these items you price the items people come into the shop you have to like you can see the reactions like are they happy with the price is it too expensive people try to steal stuff from the shop you eventually like can hire a worker and like upgrade your shop with in anyway i'm not going to spoil anything but there's all kind like this is a really modest small shop you start off with you have to literally go hit sell on every item and like run your shop so that's part of the game it's like animal crossing you're upgrading your town not to like that extent like upgrading your town but there's different upgrades for your town and your character so it's a weird mix of gameplay but it's fun you know and this is the kind of game that just is addicting enough to like just we, one more run in the dungeon to get some more money um to try to find more of these items to upgrade the sword or whatever it is so i like the loop in the game and it was really fun there's four like i said there's four different dungeons and then like you know the end um challenging i had some you know some bosses that took me a few a few tries but uh i thought it was pretty good difficulty um, but it is time consuming. I spent about 25 hours in this game, uh, but I enjoyed it, you know. <laughs> so that's the gameplay. Um, I'm laughing because of the story. So story's pretty cool, interesting, you know. I mean, nothing like crazy unique, but the ending is terrible. I'm not going to ruin it for you. To me, it's dumb and uh, horny. And kind of like ruined the experience for me a little bit. I mean, honestly, like I really enjoyed the the gameplay, but like the reason you're doing this stuff is like you just play the game. It's really dumb to me. The ending is not great. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, another thing that you can do is like you can upgrade. Uh, well, that's the story. So um, one more thing about the gameplay that I didn't mention. You can bring like a little friend along. You'll find different friends. I'm not going to say any more than that, but they do different things and you get to choose which one, which is kind of cool. So you can have like a little companion go with you. You probably saw earlier that you jump into a pool. Well, it's like risk reward, right? So if you go to a different level of the dungeon, they get harder. Um, when you're getting close to the end of the dungeon, you'll find a pool that refills your health. It's it's limited in the amount of health it can refill. So if you, you can also portal back at a certain point, it costs money to do that. So there's all these like risk reward things that, you know, to do. There's a banker you can invest money in. I made a huge mistake with that, but I'm not going to tell you about it. You could figure that out on your own. So the gameplay is, is good to great. And the story is mediocre, especially the ending almost makes it poor to me. So I'm going to give gameplay size story a seven. I think that's a pretty cool, fair, fair score. So next category is replayability. You can see how much I made in my shop that day. Not a lot, but replayability is not going to be high. Um, once you've done it, you're going to... Right at the end, I was kind of done selling stuff. They do make a, a, a shortcut. that You can have like your shop, like your associate or your uh, employee can sell stuff and you have to give her 30%. And that's what I started to do towards the end because I was just getting tired of running the shop. I was kind of ready to beat it at the end. Um, but... That is going to contribute to the low score because there is a platinum that requires you to go back and beat the game under 10 hours. But to do that, I mean, it's kind of tedious to, to get these items and upgrade. And it's everything's really expensive. Um, and to do this under 10 hours, yeah, it's possible. I started New Game Plus. There is a New Game Plus, which is great. Um, and that's really the only reason I gave it a three because the story you don't want to experience again, you are definitely going to want to skip that um and after selling a ton of items it it's going to kind of wear on you a little bit so i just don't see myself even going back for the platinum in this it's just not worth it to me i mean it's i got 25 hours out of this game and that's i had a good time with it so but i'm giving um replayability a three fun factor i'm giving an eight because i had a good time with this game all the way up until like the last hour and a half um because i just kind of got tired of selling items trying to get because i had fully upgraded a few things um potions got just ridiculously expensive so that kind of i think eight's a good score because i had a good time with this game would i recommend it yes would i recommend platinum platinuming the game no so just to recap Graphics a 7.5, performance a 10, gameplay slash story a 7, replayability a 3, fun factor an 8. I give Moonlighter for the PS4 a 7.1 out of 10, which is a pretty, it's a good game. Um, and it comes out, it's physical, which is cool. It's really cheap digitally. So uh, if you see it for, uh, you know, see it on sale, definitely pick it up. That's all I got. Server and out.